Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Now before we get into this hair tutorial, I'd like to demo this mirror that I found on Amazon. I told you guys about it in my previous protective style. And I'm like, if we're gonna lay and slay our own hair, we need to make sure that our parts are straight we don't need crooked partings so this is what the mirror is looking like it is adjustable i attached it to the top of my door and then brought it down and this will give me a really good view of the back of my head so that my partings can be laid and slayed you feel me so for this tutorial the hair that we'll be using is from zuri brand and it is their water wave braiding hair now i've had a bunch of these here from previous videos laying around and i'm like why not just do a passion twist style with this especially since i'm going on vacation i needed something real cute and a little bit different so i used about three packs of this hair i don't think i use all full three packs but it's safe to have more hair than less hair so this is what the hair is looking and i especially love this brand of water wave here because of the texture and it blends so well with my natural hair then the it factor for this style is the shake and go curly hair now usually people do goddess or boohoo hair styling braids with human hair if they don't want it to get um knotted like crochet hair but i'm like girl we're about to use a synthetic curly hair and i'm gonna show you how i did that now these are the braiding tools or not rather tools but the braiding gels that i use to do my parties and to make my hair look neat and i'll link all of this in my bio or description box down below to the link to my amazon store now for this portion i'm just showing you guys how the mirror works because obviously i can't be looking in the mirror and then like trying to show y'all at the same time so it's just demoing what my parting looks like when i actually use this mirror so um yeah so i part my hair then i put the gel on the parting space then repart it with my comb just to make sure that everything is nice clean and neat and this is how my parting is looking with this mirror so you need this mirror in your life and i will link it also in my amazon store now this is how the hair is looking because this is my first time trying this like feed in like y'all know i don't know how to feed in braid but this is the first time trying and i had to do it on camera first before i try to show y'all like i had to make sure that it actually works so i'm just going to demonstrate on the top portion of my hair now first things first i always part down the middle just to make sure that i have even parts if i want to do a center part or a side part you got to make sure that that center is centering so i put a little bit of the braiding gel on my party and then I part for a second time just to make sure that it's nice and crisp. We need that to be neat. We need to look like we had our hair professionally done because we're about to save some coins and we still need it to look good. Now that the parting is nice and straight, um, the first thing that I do for this style, because as I said before, I am not a professional braider and I'm just trying to show you girlies how I do my own hair the simplest way I know how. So the first thing that I do is when I section my hair, I braid it down. So I don't braid it all the way down. I braid about an inch and then I twist the rest of the way down. So this is gonna be how I prep my hair to do the style. Now for each parting space, I only use one of the Zuri strand of hair. And for the curly piece, I, I 
cut off two pieces of curly pieces one for the top of the braid and one for the bottom so this is how I cut the hair and then I'm gonna pull the strands just to make sure that it doesn't look blunt cut and just to make it look even out and just silky smooth now for when I'm installing this curly hair because of we cut the weft we're not going to use the bottom part that we just smoothed out we're going to use the tip because it's already even for us now how i feed in i basically create a loop around my hair and then start braiding down don't worry i didn't even realize that i wasn't exactly in frame when i was doing this because i was trying to concentrate like i was trying to make sure that my hair looked neat but i will show you in a couple of minutes in a slowed down version so after i braid about two inches down i'm just going to attach the first piece of curly hair that will be on top and what i do i grab the end of the hair with my fingers with one end of my braid and then i just put the hair away inside my little clip right there and then i proceed to continue braiding so with the braids it locks in the curly hair so it's looking like it's moving right now because obviously i'm, I'm braiding the hair and then once I've get, gotten a good amount of the hair within the braid, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that braiding gel to add, add to my natural hair just to make it silky smooth within my braid so it doesn't poke out. And then I'm gonna start rope twisting. So you wanna do this a little bit. Make sure that you, you're, you're tucking that hair in. Make sure that you're really like rolling it between your fingertips to create that rope twist like motion just make sure that everything is neat and it doesn't look poofed up once you let it go so i continue twisting down but not all the way down as yet because we're going to add the second piece of curly hair now since this bottom part is a twist instead of a braid you want to make sure that you're doing this snug so I grab it with my tips of my fingers again, and then I'm just gonna put away the other end of the curly hair. Then I started twisting. So I'm trying to twist as snug as I can just to make sure that the hair stays inside. Remember, this is my first time doing this. Like, we're just trying to do it the best way we can. So with the twist, I'm not twisting uniformly, if that's the proper word to use, meaning that even though I'm twisting, I sometimes stop and then redistribute the hair so that it doesn't have like a uniformed twisting motion that the hair can slip out if you understand what I'm saying so like I redistribute the hair over and over again when I'm twisting going down and I'm gonna show you this over and over again so don't worry there's gonna be at least three demonstration of doing this style so this is what it's looking like after i'm done and i'm like girl this is hella cute now for the slow down method i loop the braiding here onto my hair and then i start braiding so i'm just gonna leave you guys to watch this in slow mo so that you can see how i feed in the hair
so this is my hair when it is completed and it is late at night and i'm about to go to bed okay so look how neat the parting spaces are like girl what absolutely in love so this is the next day I went to go get my nails done because you can know girl is going on vacation she needs them fresh sets period <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go in with some edge control you can use any edge control that you would like I've been using this edge control I won't say it is super strong especially when I went on vacation and use it in the sun like yeah it, it was okay while I was in Canada but on vacation it wasn't that strong now for the curly hair, I'm gonna put some mousse on the hair. And what I like about using the synthetic hair as opposed to crochet hair and human hair is that opposed to crochet hair, you know, after one day of using crochet curly hair, like Free Trust brand, you this whole thing would be a knotted mess and I will be frustrated. But with the shake and go, because it is synthetic hair, but it's still a curly um sewing a kind of hair that you'd use for a sewing it didn't stick together onto the braids which i love and i know human hair curly hair would be great with this style but um who's trying to buy a whole human hair bundle for that much money just to cut it up so definitely the shake and go synthetic hair was the it factor for this style Okay, all now this is the final look and the end of the tutorial. Let me know what you think about this style. I am in love with how this turned out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at damn.chev. And I'll see y'all beautiful people in my next video. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.